Hello Internet, today I'm going to be telling you how to use your Nintendo DS as a PC controller. The things you're going to need are a flash card, preferably an R4, well that's just because it's the one I'm using, an SD card obviously, a Nintendo DS, a Wi-Fi router, and a computer of some kind. Okay, then what you're going to want to do is get DS to key and the only uh, you can download it from right here this website it'll be in the description and the only uh, files you're gonna need are DS to key and DS to key dot console you can discard everything else ignore this this is a completely different uh, file for other stuff. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get DS Pad downloaded as well and put all of the contents in the root directory of the uh, SD card that you'll be putting into your uh, DS flash card of your choice. Now you turn your DS on. There it goes. Sorry. And you select the S pad O two B point N D S. Just click the thing or any button. And then you go into settings. Over here. Hold on a sec. And over here you have in the local port and server port you hit 9501. And where your where my pencil is is where you enter your IP address. And once you're done with that, you will hit save which is right down here and then when you exit out of that you'll hit save again which will also be right here and then you go back into settings mode because I can move the pencil out of my way now and you go into DS2 key and you turn on DS2 key compatibility mode hit OK save or OK again yeah and then you get the little game controller and number one. Okay. And now that your DS is doing all this stuff, you will want to hit ds2key.console. And we'll say waiting for data on port UDP 9501. So it's going to take a while, so I'll, I'll pause the recording until it uh, does something. And as you can see, it should look something like this right here. And so I can now move. You can, you can go ahead and exit out of it, it doesn't matter. And so I can now move. Oops. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. You can now hit this. Hit connect, and you should be able to move things around with your DS uh, D-pad. Right? So, that's how you set that up. And so, as you can see, by using the DS, I can Type A, B, X, Y, R, and L simply by pressing these buttons. So my computer is now reading my Nintendo DS through the Wi Fi router. You don't need any extra programs like PPJoy, besides, that program doesn't really work too well on Windows 10, anyways, I couldn't get it to run. So, 
These are the only two programs you need, DS2 key on your computer and DS pad on your DS. And that's it. And so here I'm using my uh, DS to uh, play some Need for Speed for you. I won't lie, sometimes it does glitch a little. Like it'll be, I won't be pressing a button and it'll still register as me pressing a button and that can get annoying. So it's not the most practical, but then again it might just be the somewhat slow country internet that we have here. So, uh, let's, uh, let's race it.